certain uh, region watched last night verbal diarrhea by Junet Mohammed. Everybody in this country knows Junet Mohammed speaks for Raila Odinga. He spoke publicly without battling an eye in front of Raila Odinga, Fred Matiangi, Mutai Kagwe, and told the people of Kenya that if Raila Odinga is elected as president, the government that you form will be the one for the people of Nyanza. He went ahead to tell Mutahi Kagwe, to tell the people of the Mount Kenya region that the Raira government is not their government and they will be visitors in that government. And we are in shock that Mutahi Kagwe, when he rose to speak, instead of chiding Junet Mohammed and telling him he's out of order, he was seen clapping as Junet Mohammed was speaking and went ahead to endorse Raira Odinga to become president, a man who has said publicly that if he forms government, the people of Mount Kenya region will be visitors to that government, and that government is exclusively for the people of Nyanza. We are not in shock that we have known. It is these people of Raira in 207 who mobilize the rest of the country against the people of Mount Kenya. It is Raira Odinga who mobilized 41 against 1. So when he says that the government they will form is for the people of Nyanza, and we, the people of Mount Kenya region, will be outsiders. In fact, he says we'll be visitors into that government. It is part of the script that he started in 2007. And that is why the people of this region will reject him in totality, the way we rejected him in 1997, in 2007, in 2013 and 2017. The people of this region cannot vote for somebody who is telling them, even before he's elected, that if he is elected, the government he forms will be for one region where he comes from. A man who goes ahead to look for our votes, he says he is climbing the mountain. Then his mouthpiece, his spokesman, tells us that we shall be outsiders in that government, that we shall be visitors. It cannot be. You can come here and tell us you are climbing the mountain, asking us to give us your votes. Then your spokesman says in your presence that we, the people from the mountain region, will be outsiders in that government. We shall be visitors. And when Raila Odinga rose to speak, he did not admonish Junet Mohammed because he was speaking for him. And we didn't expect him to admonish him because that is what they discuss in private. We are private to what they discuss in private. That once he forms government, this region will be an outcast in that government. And therefore we are telling our people, now they have known who Raila Odinga is. They have known who is ODM. Anybody now who comes here to tell us to vote for Raila Odinga must tell us, you know, how they want us to fit in a government that already the man who wants to be president and his people are telling us that that government is for Nyanza and we are outsiders and will be visitors in that government. And we want to challenge Mutai Kagwe. We don't understand what kind of a leader he is from this region. How can he stand when he is being lectured like a child by Junet Mohammed, being told that we shall be outsiders in the Raila government? And then when he rises to speak, instead of telling Junet Mohammed he is out of order and asking Raila Odinga to correct the statement, he goes ahead to say that the people of this area should vote for Raila Odinga. You know, Mutai Kagwe has a lot of explanation to do when he comes here. He will tell us, you know, why he took that position when he was being lectured like a child in front of everybody else. So I want to say uh, we have noted the statement by Junet Mohammed in Raila's presence with his blessings that we shall be outsiders in a possible Raila government and that is why we shall make sure it will never happen. With our vote here, over 7 million votes, we will make sure that Raila Odinga will never see the presidency because it cannot be. He is threatening us even before he forms government that we shall be outside and in his possible government. We have not forgotten. He is the one who mobilized for one against one. We have not forgotten. So let him not come here to cheat us that he is a friend of the mountain. How can he be a friend of the mountain when his spokesman is saying that we will not be part of his government, we will be outsiders of, in his government? When he is saying the government he forms will be one exclusive of the people of Nyanza. As the people of the mountain are interested in a no inclusive government, where all Kenyans are stakeholders, where every community is part of that government. 
including the Mount Kenya region. We cannot support a government that will be seclusive, that will not encompass and incorporate the people of Kenya in their diversity. So that is what we would like to say for now. Well, I've also noted that at least Aida Odinga is moving around with lies, saying that he can give people 6,000. We have a program for the elderly for 2,000. That money is never available. And these are elderly people who need support. But the people who are able-bodied do not need handouts from any government. They want to be economic programs that will enable them to work hard and earn their money. In any case, that money is not available. If we cannot get the 2,000 for the elderly people, how can we get 6,000 for the unemployed people? What we want is somebody who will create employment for the young people to work for their money and work hard. At least he's trying to go around. The other fellows are waiting for Uru Kenyatta to endorse them. This is uh, Mr. Endorse Me. You know, they are just waiting, eh? sitting pretty, waiting to be endorsed. Had we, the people of William Ruto, waited for Uru Kenyatta to endorse us, we would be in problems now. But we went out to talk to the people of Kenya. In any case, this election will be decided by Kenyans, by voters. You must go and talk to them. Them, they are very happy to go to Safari Park and talk to the billionaires. They think those billionaires can make them president. They think that Uru Kenyatta can make them president from state house. It's not possible. They must come out and go and look for a vote if they are interested in this election. But I don't think they are interested. I think they are waiting for President Uhuru Kenyatta to endorse them. I wish them luck.